All right, guys. So I finally tried Apple's Vision Pro. And, you know, I have to say that before this, I expected that Quest would be the better value for most people since it's really good and it's like seven times less expensive. Uh, but after using it, I don't just think that Quest is the better value. I think that Quest is the better product, period. <laughs> Fighting words from Mark Zuckerberg. He's tried it, the Apple Vision Pro. Obviously, Meta's number one rival, pretty much, in the handheld portable vision AR spatial computing virtual reality headset market. Let's see what he's got to say. I'm Blaise to If you love tech, gaming, unboxings, reviews, handheld gaming news, all that sort of stuff, including VR, consider clicking like, subscribe, subscribing, and clicking that bell icon. And consider clicking join and becoming a member and supporting everything I do on YouTube. Let's get into it. Let's go. Before we get into it, go check out Factor 75, link down below in the video description for $150 off. If you want to take the, all the thought and all the effort out of making meals and preparing meals and grocery shopping, have your meals delivered to your front door using Factor 75, always fresh, never frozen, made by gourmet chefs, and you'll have 35 different meal options every week, different meal options. This service is amazing. Save your time, save your money, and just get Factor 75. Review coming soon on the channel. So let's get into the video. So obviously I've got a big interest in virtual reality and augmented reality and spatial computing. They're not calling it, right? Because I actually started this channel on virtual reality, right? It was, I was called Blaze VR, not Blazed OK. We obviously got the first, we got the the Samsung Gear VR was one of my first VR headsets. We tried a cheap VR headset. And then we got the consumer CV1 Rift which was a pain in the butt over time with the sensors and everything like that. But I used to love virtual reality more than I do now. And um, it's actually heating up more than ever because we've got Apple in the game. We've got H and we've got the new Steam, um, the new Valve headset coming out. We're going to talk about that in a separate video. Stay tuned. And obviously the MetaQuest 3, which is by far the most successful portable virtual reality headset, mixed reality headset out on the market right now and most affordable. So let's get into it and let's see why Mark Zuckerberg thinks the MetaQuest 3 is better than the Vision Pro. Um, give you my reactions, obviously. And yeah, see if he's correct. If, if I want to if I want to intervene or give my opinion, I'll, I'll pause the video. But let's get into it and let's see what he's got to say. And, you know, the different companies made different design decisions for the headsets. They have different strengths. But overall, Quest is better for the vast majority of things that people use mixed reality for. Now, my friend Kenny is actually capturing this video on Quest's high resolution mixed reality pass through right now. We're, we're just here in my living room. And so that's one big, that's one big improvement the MetaQuest 3 has. That's kind of why I sold my Quest 2 is the MetaQuest 3 has a massively better pass through. All right. I mean, it, it granted it's not as good as the, the Vision Pro's pass through, but it's full color now and you can actually use your phone. I tried it in a Best Buy. If you want to try the MetaQuest 3 out yourself, go try it out in a Best Buy. They've usually got a display model. I think even Target has a display unit now for the Quest 3. So go try it out yourself and see what you think of it and get a taste of if the spatial computing world is obviously a thing for you, if it's something that's going to be interesting to you. I mean, I really like the thought of potentially, you know, being able to just see real the real world but then also place virtual objects virtual screens all over the place um obviously have stuff the my peripheral vis vision where it's whether you're traveling for you know travel media having you know being productive with your computer monitors having virtual monitors anywhere being able to do things cook in the kitchen prepare stuff look after the kids well i'm seeing stuff in my periphery right without having to go and do something and stop everything else that i'm doing and focus on one thing i get it just makes multitasking a little bit more enjoyable so i do love how the quest 3 has improved that and obviously the, the apple vision pro is definitely making that a big focus too spatial computing right overlaying digital stuff over the real world i think that's what more people want not everyone wants to be shuttered off in a virtual environment right full 360 although you can do that in these if you want to you can see his, his browser windows and you know, whatever else he's got running up here. Uh, so yeah, Quest 3 does high quality pass through with big screens. Imagine if the Kenny or whatever his name was had something lewd on the screen. <laughs> uh, just like Vision Pro. But we also designed it to be great for a lot of other things. Uh, moving around, playing games, uh, mm -hmm. friends and socializing, working out um, and more. Quest, you know, I think is just a lot more comfortable. Um, you know, we designed it to weigh 120 grams less, which makes a really big difference on your face. Let's not forget, it's like seven times cheaper too. Um, there's no wires that get in the way when you move around. It's a 
big deal. Our field of view is, is wider and I found our screen to be brighter also. Um, I also noticed that, you know, Apple's headset has this motion blur as you move around, which mm. Quest is just a lot crisper. Now, Apple's screen does have a higher resolution. You know, the board members of Meta were like, Mark, you need to get out here and respond to the Vision Pro. Vision Pro is stealing the limelight. You need to tell people why the Quest 3 is better. Get out there, Mark. And Mark's like, oh, oh, oh okay, let me let me do it then. Let me, t let me compare. Really nice. But I was surprised by how many trade-offs they had to make to the quality of the device and the comfort and ergonomics um, and other aspects of the display and artifacts in order to get to that. Now, for input... Quest supports uh, precision controllers that are great for games. Um, both headsets support hand tracking. But so that's what I want to see. That's one big differentiating thing between Apple Vision Pro. Apple have clearly said they want to use your hands as the primary input device. They're not going to support third-party controllers. They're not even going to release their own third-party controllers, at least in the near future. It's all about eye tracking and pinching. So games... Browsing the media, browsing media, being productive. Sure, they'll let you connect a Bluetooth keyboard to it, right? If you want to use your Mac display or something like that. But they have no interest right now in utilizing controllers to hand track or to obviously input methods, haptic feedback. It's all hand movement. And now Meta does do that, and they're very good at that. But that's one big difference, right? Obviously, Meta's focused on allowing you to have the best of all worlds. I think Mark said it himself. He wants Meta in the Quest 3 being basically the Android of you know, the VR and the AR spatial computing you know, ecosystem, right? Apple's a very closed wall, closed gardens. Things don't work with it, but they do their thing. But Android's going to let you do, obviously, their Meta Quest 3 is going to let you do everything. Hand controllers, hand tracking, third-party controllers, you name it. Bunch of different apps and really no limits. Side-loading apps if you want to. I think that's a big reason why I think the Meta Quest 3 is successful and I think it's going to be a really good, favorable competitor to the apple vision pro going forward right because it's going to give you more options and for those it's very similar to like iphone versus android right android lets you do a lot of different things third-party apps it lets you buy apps within pay for stuff buy products within the app without having to give apple a 30 percent cut um i think obviously the meta quest 3 is very strong as far as that's concerned but you know i found ours to be a little more accurate apple's eye tracking is really nice um, we, we it is those sensors back in quest pro we took them out for quest 3 and we're going to bring them back in the future um, it's a nice interface it's not perfect for everything though for typing or complex tasks um, you're going to want uh, things like hands or a keyboard or controllers or eventually a neural interface for those kind of inputs i like how he just throws that out there oh yeah you're going to need a hands you're going to need your controllers a keyboard for specific you know tasks like gaming right i mean when I'm playing games in VR, I do want to have controls. I want to have a trigger. I want to have buttons. I want to have analog sticks so I can do more in the game. Instead of like going... <laughs> like I'm Harry Potter. All right. Um, I think he's got a point there. Quest's immersive content library is a lot... But yeah, neural, neural interface. I mean, talk about Elon Musk and Neuralink, right? Obviously, that is going to be part of the future. But my God, I like it. He just throws it in casually. Like, we're going to be using our brains to interact with everything. Who needs haptic feedback? We're going to be dialed in, literally, physically, with a chip on our brain to interact with these VR headsets. I'm not looking forward to that future. A lot deeper. You know, we've been working with studios, uh, building virtual and mixed reality games and other content for a long time now. And if you want to watch YouTube or play Xbox on a big screen anywhere you go, uh, that's only available on Quest for now. So, you know, when I look around, it, it seems like there are a lot of people who just assumed that Vision Pro would be higher quality because it's Apple and it costs $3,000 more. But, you know, honestly, I'm pretty surprised that Quest is so much better for the vast majority of things that people use these headsets for with that price differential. Yeah. Now, look, I know that, you know, some fanboys get upset whenever anyone dares to, to question if Apple's going to be the leader in a new category. But the reality is, is that every generation of computing has an open and a closed model. And yeah, in mobile, Apple's closed model one. But it's not... Well, has it technically one? It's one maybe in the United States, but Samsung and Android are still like the world market leaders as far as operating systems and, you know, sales for phones are concerned. I mean... That that could be quite that could be a, that's a questionable take. Apple hasn't technically won, although it is getting better. It is, I'd say it's winning. Yeah. If you go back to the PC era, uh, Microsoft's open model was the winner, and in this next generation, Meta is going to be the open model, 
and I really want to make sure that the open model wins out again. The future is not yet written. So, you know, I want to take a moment to just thank everyone who's been building with us for more than a decade. The future is written, Mark. You've lost. Apple Vision Pro's out. Nobody wants to buy a MetaQuest 3. You've lost, Mark. Give up. Stop begging for, for sale. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I hope he's right. Um, that goes for both Quest and uh, the Ray-Ban Meta glasses, which are doing way Those are pretty cool. Hope that they would. Um, you know, as the old saying goes, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. So I'll see you all out there. So there we go, guys. Mark Zuckerberg's review of the Meta, not the Meta Quest 3, the Apple Vision Pro. And he's not impressed. For the seven times or six, six to seven times the price of the Meta Quest, he's obviously didn't, he obviously doesn't think the future set is worth that price tag. And I think he's got a point. I think they've got, you've got more options with the Meta Quest 3. Sure, you can do the spatial computing thing. You can browse the web, watch YouTube videos as you're playing a game on Xbox Game Pass. You know, while you're cooking meal, cooking something on the stove, not that I recommend doing that at all. All right, be careful. It's not to that. It's, I wouldn't be driving with a MetaQuest 3 on, but you have that option. It's really nice. Um, and most of the things you could do on the Apple Vision Pro, you can do on the MetaQuest 3. Arguably, you could do a lot more in the Vision, uh, the, the MetaQuest 3, right? You can connect it up to your PC and run PC VR experiences, fully fledged things like Half Life Alex or Skyrim in VR. You could do a lot more with the MetaQuest 3. You've got the option of going obviously portable. You've obviously got the option of connecting it up and using full, you having full, fully fledged, sky's the limit VR experiences, right? Um, and you do have the battery built into the headset. You don't have any little cable tether unless you connect to the PC, that is. There's a lot of benefits to MetaQuest 3, a lot more options, and people like more options. A lot of people like more options. Sure, people there are people that are just happy in the Apple ecosystem getting what they're given, but there's like there's people that like to push the envelope as far as what's possible out there, what can I do, what can I play on this thing, Um and I think that's what Mark's basically saying. I think he, he's going to have like an open sort of ecosystem for the Quest. It's going to be the very, like the Android of the phone market, the phone world, uh, the VR world. And obviously Apple are going to do their thing. They're not going to allow certain third party accessories. They're going to take it slow and really control what people can do in it um, and limit what people can do in it and try and refine that to where Android's, you know, I mean, you know how phones are, right? There's a lot of things you can do on Android, you can't do on iPhone, and it's going to be the same with VR. Let me know what you think in the comments, because everyone's got an opinion. Everyone's got an opinion on this, and um, I'm excited. The future of technology is just crazy with AI, with obviously this new spatial computing era where we're going to have screens glued to our eyes, and basically not be like locked into this whole play ready player one world but be able to see the real world around us get on with their lives go around do stuff shove on a pair of glasses and have you know a youtube video playing in the corner of our eye um music playing in our ears as we're and without taking us out of the real world right i mean i think that's what everyone wants everyone wants augmented reality People want to be able to see things, do things without having to spend thousands of dollars on things like monitors and TVs and, you know, booking trips to the Himalayas when you can just enjoy the Himalayas for the comfort of your own sofa if you don't want to spend the money and go to the real Himalayas. It's, it's, it's just an exciting time to be alive. It really is. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you think in Mark's review of the Vision Quest, the Vision Quest, the Vision Pro, Apple Vision Pro. And um, yeah, let me know what you think. Anyways, guys, I love you. I appreciate you. Consider supporting everything I do on YouTube, whether it's just the rambling, specula speculative videos like this one, talking about tech news, gaming news, um, unboxings, reviews, even the, the daily live streams that we do. Um, I'd really appreciate it. Become a member. Become a part of Lee Squad. Get a green name. Get a badge next to your name to signify how awesome you are. And get some cool emojis. And as well as access to all our members-only content like our live streams. Anyways, peace out. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one. And also, hey, before I go, check out Factor 75. Really, you'll be doing yourself a favor. Link down below in the video description. Peace out. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your week. Bye. Let's go.